Yo, we're back in After Effects and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this ghost trail effect. This effect looks really cool and will surely spice up your videos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rotoscope out his chain because I want to make the trail on the chain. If you want, you can do it on his hands and stuff too. But for now, let's just grab our rotoscope brush tool and start rotoscoping out. If you don't know how to rotoscope, I'll leave a tutorial down below so you can check it out. It's pretty Pretty simple and easy. So after you rotoscope, your object will be separated from the background of course. So we gonna duplicate this clip and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer. Now our background and our chain is in the separate layer. So we can start adding effects to this chain. First I'm gonna hide my background layer for now. So we only see the chain layer. The first effect I'm gonna add is curves. Let's just add curves and just make a S curve like this to boost the highlights and make the blacks a bit darker you can see it here then we're gonna add a luma key to key out all the dark parts so just increase the threshold a little bit and if i check my transparency grid you can see it is selected out i will lower down the threshold actually yeah this is pretty cool and i'm also gonna animate the threshold so hit the stopwatch in there and i'm gonna go a bit further and right here where it is grid bright and everything is selected i'm gonna just increase the threshold and after that add a tint and set the black to white so everything is just plain white so we can add the color later for sure after that just pre-comp the layer and we're gonna add rsmb now rsmb is an external paid plugin so if you don't have it you can just use cc force motion blur that's a really good alternative for the rsmb you can bump off the sensitivity and you can make the amount to like 1.80 i guess Nah, it 1.80, yeah. 0.80 i mean 0.80 yeah and of course to add the trail we're gonna use echo the classic effect that everybody knows about so bump up the echo number to like six and just lower down the decay and see what works the best around 70 or 75 should work after that add like a deep glow and just lower down the amount and bring up the size and go over to then go over to tint and just enable it and set the color to whatever you like i'm gonna glow go with something blue yeah something like this then go over to more sensitive to overlay and just lower down the max uh something like 50 so now we are pretty much done with the trails and you can see it looks pretty cool so the thing i'm gonna do now is just quickly render out this echo trail so go over to file go to export and just add to render queue we can go over to the format settings go over to bitrate and just increase it and just increase it to like 30 the format i'm using is s.264 and just hit ok and just render out where you want it i'm gonna name it render and just render it so after you finish the render just find the file where you saved it and just drag and drop it onto your comp i'll mute this clip for sure and also hide my pre-comp and enable my background for sure too i'll move the background clip up so you can see better and you are also probably not seeing your clip because we didn't render it on alpha so to fix that go over to blending mode and set it to screen and you can see it overlaying in the clip now so another thing i like to add on here is heat wave universe heat wave if you have this this is from red giant universe and it's pretty dope it goes well with this effect too it just increase the heat intensity to 100 then just go over to distortion settings and just lower down the size after adding the heat wave you can see it it looks way more better to be honest i don't like the color now i don't know why so i think i'm gonna change it by adding color balance hls and you can make it any color you like i'm just gonna make it a darker blue uh something like this yeah i know we already added glow but for the last time i'm gonna add a glow optical glow and just bring up the amount to like crazy and just lower down the amount uh, I'm gonna lower down the amount to like 2 or 3 something like that. I don't know it just makes it pop more I guess. We're done with the trails now. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a effect called S distort chroma onto our background clip. 
and set the lens layer to the whatever you have the trail layer on so in my case it's render and do the same thing with the source set it to effects and marks same thing for the mat just set it to that layer and just change it to effects and max you can lower down the amount and you can really see it create that distortion in the background too which in my case i really like it and you can now see we are pretty much done with the trails the last thing i'm gonna do with the background is just add a levels hit the stopwatch in the levels go a bit further and just i'm gonna play with the value to make it darker and add a hue and saturation too hue and saturation just hit the stopwatch in that too and go a bit further and lower down the saturation to like minus 55 or 60 mm, yeah this looks pretty cool you can also play with the opacity too uh, on like about here we are done with this too and finally i'm gonna add some shake from my shake pack so i'm gonna add this best one this shake pack is best ever so the link will be in the description if you want to download use code shake to get 20 percent off you won't regret it so back in after effects you can see i have this dope shake that looks pretty cool but i want it in the beginning so i'm gonna hit you hit you to bring up all the keyframes just select all of those and move it a bit far far Older, so it happens in the beginning like that this looks pretty solid now and if you wonder how i created that adjustment layer so easily this is a plugin called workflow from brian delimata i'll leave this in the description if you are interested so anyways this shake is perfect right now so my result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and you can also follow me in instagram i'm really active in there see you in next video peace